Hi, welcome to Oka Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this Lace Fit VC4 H4 LED headlight bulb. And the model I got right here, this one's the H4 unit. And this one can fit vehicles that accepts the H4 or the 9003 headlight. Now, what's different between this Lace Fit and the other one I reviewed previously is that this one has a lot smaller profile. It's also cheaper too. It costs roughly like $57 or $58 off Amazon. And well, the electronic ballast is built into it. It's a little, slightly less bright than the previous one. This one is 25 watts at 2800 lumens. Now let's take a closer look at this one by Lace Fit. See how small this is compared to other ones? The fan for this unit is built right in the front over here. The previous unit was built in the back. There's a Lace Fit. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the original Honda H4 bulb. So Honda H4. I see that for the lace fit, it protrudes the front by about like one millimeter, and for the back, it protrudes. Right. So for the Honda CRV, the high beam and low beam, they share the same bulb. And just follow this towards the back of the vehicle. There's a flashlight. And here, oh, that's the one I'll be taking out, the silver one right here. First, unplug the existing power cord from the vehicle power source. I already need two hands for this. All right, it's unplugged. Next, with the Honda CRV, the existing bulb is held on by a clamp. I mean, it's like a little paper clip type of thing. You just press down or press it, and the clamp is just on the right side. On the right side, you, you can feel it. It feels like a paper clip. Press towards the front of the vehicle, then upward. Afterward, it becomes very loose. And just take it out. If you were driving for a while, the, this might be a little bit warm, a little bit hot. Just place it to the side. Try not to touch the bulb area as it shortens the lifespan. When installing the new bulb, hold it like this. Just slide it in to that slot. And here's that little wire spring, the little thing that's holding the existing bulb down. Well, when I install it, press this towards the front of the vehicle, then downward. You can feel a little clip or click and that means it's security in this spot. So the same thing, I'm gonna hold it like this first, then just put it into the, the bulb socket. That's in place. You can also just look at it from the front over here. It's in, it's in position. All right. Now, I'm gonna close this up. Swing this little wire around. Press it in, lock it in place. So with my Honda CRV, it originally had this weather seal in it, which I removed previously to change the bulb. I just never put it back on. But with this new lace fit bulb, because it has a small profile on the back over here, I can choose to reinstall this if I want. Simply reattach, just push it back in. So you see how the prongs, the power connectors are still exposed? And just push it in. It's very simple. You don't, need to, you don't need to force anything. All right, once that's in, here's the power connector. Let's plug that in. I'm roughly 45 to 50 feet from the vehicle, and the camera's held four feet above the ground. And I'm gonna step onto the incoming traffic side. So over here, as the incoming driver, I'm not gonna be blinded by the LED light. It's not flickering, it's still bright, but it's not bothering me at all. Earlier I showed the LED light points to the top, and you can see that here because, well, the top half is illuminated, the bottom half is not. Basically everything is reflected through the top half. The fog light is turned off. You can see a clear line on the horizon. Anything above it is nice and clear. Anything below it is pretty dark. And I actually find this to be dangerous because at night, some of the streets aren't well illuminated. I'm currently at an intersection and I can't see the road to the left and right of me because of the horizon not being illuminated. I'm gonna turn on my fog light. You can see that I'm, just, yeah, now I can see better. I'm gonna turn off the fog light. I'm gonna start turning to my right slowly 
So if there were any pedestrians crossing a road or a, a bump, a curb, well, it would be pretty difficult to see it. Even though this LED bulb is bright, very easy to install, and inexpensive, I actually would not recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.